canonical will be canonical and canonical will go full steam ahead with snaps way back in 2022 canonical released this blog post level up your linux gaming with the new steam snap at the time it was beta early access whatever you want to call it and it was in that state for a fairly long time so come 2023 they were looking for people to actually go and test it and bring it out of this state and get it out to the wider audience and just you know do the normal canonical thing make it the standard way that people use the application now whilst i don't like snaps myself and i'm going to actively encourage you not to use them and encourage other people also not to use them i can at least respect the fact that canonical is committed to the bit maybe they know something that i and everybody else doesn't know maybe this idea of snaps actually is a good idea but it seems like in the Steam case, it might not be. And it seems like for a handful of Valve developers, the Steam Snap is actively making their life worse. So Timothy Bassett, otherwise known as T-Timo, who used to work at id Software, he's been involved in this Linux and Unix world for a very long time, involved in the Linux and Mac ports of Quake 3 Arena, Doom 3, and a bunch of others, and nowadays doing work for Valve on things like the Steam Deck, the Linux Steam Client, and a bunch of other things, put out this post over on Mastodon. Valve is seeing an increasing number of bug reports for issues caused by Canonical's repackaging of the Steam client through Snap. The best way to install Steam on Debian and derivative operating systems is to follow the instructions at this page right here and use the official .deb. We are not involved with the Snap repackaging. It has a lot of issues. If you don't want to use the deb, please at least consider the Flatpak version. This is also not official, but we'll get to this. Now, this is how they recommend you install it. Download the latest Steam deb package from this location. That's a dead link. <laughs> well, the fact that it mentions 1204 here sort of indicates to me they haven't really updated these in a while. Now, I know there are some Valve people that watch this channel. What it should actually point to is this link right here. I have no idea how long this link has been broken for, but it's probably a very long time. Now, the point they're getting at here is if you want to run Steam on Linux, you shouldn't be using your package manager, whether that's apt or pacman or any other package manager, Instead, you should be downloading the deb directly and then setting it up with that. Now, for things outside of Debian, it can be repackaged and you can get it working. But nobody's doing that. Everybody is just relying on what their distro ships and almost every single Linux Steam user is using an unofficial package. Probably the only exception are people on the Steam Deck. The difference, though, is when I run Steam on Arch, I'm just running a slightly modified deb. When you're running it in the snap, turns out it causes some additional problems. But let's not just take his word for it. Let's actually go and check out the reports. So this is the Steam for Linux GitHub page. Thankfully, Valve has a public page. Where even though the code base for the client is not open, they do have open issue tracking. But there is 2,600 issues here though, so I've just picked a handful of them. Firstly, November 10th, 2023. Now, all of the issues I'm going to show you are specifically from Snap users. In this case, we can see that by all of these Snap directories trying to be written to. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it is a problem with it being a Snap. But in a lot of cases, it's specifically a problem with it being a snap. In this case, it couldn't write to some snap directories. Now, the response to this is very similar every single time. I know people like to use the Ubuntu provided snap or the community maintained flat pack, but Valve didn't build the client with those package managers in mind, and you shouldn't expect Valve to fix bugs with non-official packaging solutions. It's more that if there is a bug in the snap, then the issue needs to be filed with Canonical first. And then if this found the bug is in Steam itself, then file one here. But expecting any company or project to fix things so they work in a way that wasn't intended is ridiculous. And here is the second one from October 4th, 2023. Removing Steam client via snap 
runs forever. This isn't even a problem with the client. This was a bug in Snap itself. Steam fails to initialize Vulkan for both native and Proton titles. Follow up from September 6th. 2023 so this user was asked to provide some logs and kissack said thanks at a glance vulcan is fine on your system but the steam internet packaging is breaking the steam linux runtime so this user was like yeah i was running the app and then i swapped to the snap because we're having some gui issues they provide some more logs they bumped it and then they were like yeah i just uninstalled the snap i reinstalled the app and now it works July 24th, 2023. Application hangs when adding non-Steam game. This one doesn't have any comments, but was tagged as dist provided Steam package. June 16th, 2023. Steam stuck on waiting for network. Snap is not a supported version of Steam. Please report this bug to Canonical directly, or preferably switch to a supported version of Steam, e.g. install the dev package directly from the Steam website. Now this is one case where this was an actual general bug. Not helpful. I've just tried this with the dev version from the official Steam site, and the dev version in the Ubuntu repository does the same problem. So this needs to be reopened, and there actually was already a duplicate issue about this. But this is one of those things where you should be doing the testing with the apt, with the deb, before you report the problem. Valve does not care about the snap. Stop reporting issues if you're running the snap. Stellaris stopped working under Ubuntu Luna after latest Steam update, March 25th, 2023. Now, this user thought it was a Proton problem. They were actually running the native version of the game. Also, out of mild curiosity, are you able to reproduce this issue without Ubuntu Snap packaging being involved? They never replied. March 22nd, 2023. Disabled Proton and Windows only games are still visible as installable. This one had no comments, but distro provided Steam package. And finally, May 23rd, 2023. Steam client freezes after clicking install on a game. It looks like you're running the Snap version of Steam. If that's the case, please consider switching to Valve's recommended Steam configuration instead. From T. Timo. They said, no, it was the official deb from the Steam website. It very clearly wasn't, otherwise you wouldn't have Snap directories being written to. Now, whilst there's not reports being made every single day, keep in mind, these are just reports that we are seeing publicly. What is not public are people contacting Steam support directly. And if this is what we're seeing here, I don't know how many extra exist, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a notable amount. Considering the fact that it's enough to annoy him, it's probably a good number of them. If you're running the Steam Snap, if you are any of these people or anybody else that has an issue with the Steam Snap, unless you know for a fact it is an issue with Steam, you have tested the dev and you know that both versions have the issue, do not report the issue to Valve. Valve does not care and cannot fix it. If you want to report a problem for the Steam Snap, go to the Steam Snap repo. They have their own bug tracker for a specific reason. They know it's broken. They know it doesn't work and they know it needs testing. This is where you should go never to Valve. This is much like the issues I brought up with bottles in the past. This is one of the problems with every distro packaging everything. You have a flat pack, an arch package, a gen 2 package, a fedora package, all of which are completely unofficial alongside the snap. And Valve provides an official version of their application, that being the deb. Now, I wish they provided a more portable method. That would be great. But that is the method that they support and the only one they care to support. But you're going to have users that always come to the upstream repo when they have no idea if there's a problem with the package on their system or an actual problem with the project. And when it's a problem with the package, they can't do anything. Yeah, maybe it's something weird they're doing, and maybe it would be better if they did do something a little bit different that made it work nicer. But that's not something they're supporting, 
And there's this idea that because there is a distro package, that means upstream just has to support it, which shouldn't be how it works. Now, even though it is unofficial, the Steam flat pack is a fairly popular way to install Steam. And whilst it's not in the context of the Steam package, T. Timo did actually comment on the Flatpak tooling, saying, Flatpak end user experience is pretty solid overall, but the experience as a developer wanting to bring an app to it is rather bare. Very minimalistic documentation, poor support for dev and debug workflows. If the goal is to get more folks contributing packages, it would need a solution that compares favorably with Toolbox slash Distrobox. This was from February of 2023. Distrobox is basically just a wrapper around Docker. In regards to making the Steam package official though, there is also this thread. It's not officially supported, but I hear it fares much better. Last time we looked at it, there were concerns about performance overhead in some situations. And Cassidy James replied, Cassidy, being fairly involved in the Flatpak space, said, Do you happen to recall the concerns or have a link discussing them that I can share with the Flatpak and Flathub teams? It would be great to learn if slash where the tech falls short to see if we could remedy it. We haven't revisited this in quite a while, but the performance overhead of the set comp layer was a concern. Whilst it is absolutely incredible that Valve has a Linux Steam client, I really wish there were more options than just the deb. The reason why I run the OBS Flatpak is because the OBS Flatpak is the official way to do so. I could get the majority of the features using one of the package builds from the AUR. I don't do that because this is the officially supported way to use the application from the developers. This makes it so much easier if there is a problem to actually go and report the problem. If there is some way to get this to work, if there is some way to make the Steam Flatpak official, considering just how many people already use it, that would be absolutely incredible. Now, one of the big differences between the unofficial flat pack and the unofficial snap is how they present themselves. So this is the flat hub listing for Steam. It says by Valve Corporation, but it's very clearly not marked as verified. This is just saying the developer. This is not saying it's officially shipped by the developer. And if we scroll down a bit, it says, hey, this is a community package of Steam gaming platform not officially supported by Valve. Report bugs through the linked issue tracker. This is good. Now, let's have a look at the snap listing. Once again, this package is maintained by Canonical and is not officially supported by Valve. Please report any issues through the contact or website links. But this is the key part. Canonical verified. So... Let's say you're looking at this through GNOME software or one of the other various application stores that are out there, probably something like GNOME software. You see the listing for Steam and you see this little verified badge. What is that telling you? That is telling you it is by the official developer. It is not at all. This is completely disingenuous and this is not how the listing should look. Now, to make that clear, that is not the fault of GNOME. GNOME is just showing the information they are given. If it says, hey, this is verified, it's going to say, hey, this is verified. This is entirely the fault of Canonical making a bogus listing. And yeah, you could say, oh, just click on the listing and have a look at the description. But when you see Steam on the app store you're looking at, you know what you're looking at. Why are you going to read the description? So you're just going to install it and have a false assumption about it. Now, here is where it gets even funnier because Joshua Ashton of Valve also commented, this has affected people internally too. I had to spend far too long trying to figure out why Steam VR was not working for someone. Turns out they were using the Snap, which is the default on the Store Plus app. Ubuntu forwarding apt to snap for certain package names is prime what the effery and actively hostile design. This is a similar thing they do with the Firefox package where you try to install Firefox and you think you're installing it from apt, but it actually just redirects you to the snap and installs the snap instead. That is something that should never be done. So I think as a joke, someone said make Steam detect snap and error out. And Joshua Ashton said, I suggested that years ago. Now, 
I'm not certain if that is a joke or that's something he actually did. Considering what was said here, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually meant that seriously. It would be very funny if it actually happened, though. So, eventually, T. Timmer replied to say, The runtime report detects snap slash flat pack, or at least it will. But generally, we wouldn't error out, user freedom and all that. But if it gets really bad, I guess we could start popping a warning. Just imagine for a second the Reddit post that would happen if they actually pop a warning because of the snap. There is going to be so many people that are really, really angry about that. Like, why? This is against my user freedom. I should be able to run the package that I want to run. I want it to happen. Please make it happen. That would be a hilarious video. But... What do you run? Do you run a native package? Do you run the dev directly from the Steam website? Do you run the snap or the flat pack? Or let me know. Maybe you don't even play video games and you don't know why you watched this video. I'd love to know. So if you like the video, go like the video. If you have problems with the Steam snap, go to Canonical's repo. Any other problems, go to Valve's. That's going to be it for me. And if you like the video, go like the video. Really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, sleep, bear, pay, link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I can't wait to end this. That was terrible. Bye.